Happy New Year's everyone. Um, hope you guys had a sick jaw uh, party. You don't know what jaw means. Throughout this whole pre New Year's, after New Year's uh, kind of thing. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna be talking about what I got up to. Um, quite a lot of crazy shit, but um, I won't go into too much detail. Oh, and I turned 21 today. Well, when it's up, it'll probably be yesterday, but 10th of January. Yeah, so yeah, I'm feeling super old. Kind of like a rusk, but anyway, life goes on, I guess. Um, so I arrived in Kenton on the 26th. If you don't know what Kenton is, it's a small little coastal town outside Port Elizabeth, the city. And uh, I went to stay there with my mate Marcus at his holiday house with his family, but then also like 11 other people like my age came. And uh, we pretty much partied every single night on the 20th, so 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. That's six time, six, six nights of just drinking and like having fun, like don't get me wrong, but yo, by the first, like, and the second I was like, yo, I'm giving up alcohol forever. Um, but that didn't last, but I'll get into that. We went into a club called Jerry's. We met so many new people and they played such bangers and classics there, like, I know most people go to the club to either like trance or I don't know what else is popular these days. <laughs> um, but or you know closer by the chain smokers. That's still popular. But for me, I love when they play like classics, the like sing alongs. They even played Somebody Once. Yo, I love that song so much. Um, and they played all the pop punk classics uh, like Blink, Fall Out Boy, Somebody One, My Chemical Romance. So, I was singing along super hard and I was quite impressed that everyone else like knew the words and I was like yes this is the best job. So yeah well done to that DJ. Give him a round of applause there. On the 29th we went to a draw called Oxbra which is probably the filthiest thing you can do in 24 hours. Um, you basically go with like a thousand, a few thousand people but obviously you go with your mates and there's this huge farm I think it's a farm, I don't know, and you can either camp or what we did, we just kind of slept in the car, or we brought mattresses. You feel really filthy when you get home the next day, but you just like, what a job, because you like pretty much stay on a good level throughout the whole day, and there's awesome like artists playing, and there's, there's two, there was two stages this year, which was cool, and yeah, uh, you can see so many people you know from like PE or wherever else you know people from. Um, I don't know, PE people, just know PE people. Uh, it's definitely my favourite Oxbra, it was my third time. And someone was like, only three Oxbras? <laughs> this is my like 12th. And I was like, Phew, what are you still doing here? Like, they must probably be like 30. And I, I can't even picture doing that at 30. Like, it's a cool job, but you're, I would be broken. I actually didn't end up sleeping in the car. I slept with the mattress outside the car on the grass, which was quite uh, interesting. The car drive home the next day was pretty much the worst thing of my life. Then the 31st we were at Billy's Beach, Kenton. And yeah, it was the first New Year's that like, none of myself and my mates, we weren't on a mission to like find girls or whatever. We were just like all together and, and then when the New Year's came, we were just like, yo, we were just like jawed really hard. Then first I got back to PE. Second, <laughs> drove all the way to Plett, which is on the other side, um, other direction from Kenton. So that was like a two and a half hour drive, feeling a bit like, you know. Um, Kate spent time there with my family, really awesome. Um, did so many things, I went paragliding, I went hiking in, not hiking, it's like a nature walk, in Rien Rien and Dal. We went out twice in Plex, just like I said, I'm giving up, I'll go forever, until the next like, few days came, and then I was like, okay, I'm ready, I can do this again. And we went to a place in Z called Zanzibar, which is probably the youngest draw you will ever go to. If you are older than 18, if you're 18 plus, I think you will feel old there. And what's sad is that it is an 18 plus draw, but that place was infested with 16 year olds wearing white jeans, Nike shoes, black like crop top, like vest thing, and a New York cap. Literally, like I know it sounds like stereotypical, basic white girls, but there were like 20 of them in like one area and I was like, okay, I'm not staying here, I'm going to the next draw, which is at Black Flashbacks. So that was like much better, more my age. I was no sick draw. Got back on the 7th, wrote a maths exam on my birthday today, which 
which went okay, so I think it deserves a pass. It's up to the lecturer now. But personally I think I think that what I wrote like deserves a pass. But the lecturer might not think so. Hopefully it does. Thank you for watching, catching up with me where I've been. And my band's new song, my band Dead and Dreamers. We're releasing a new song called Post the Law in the next few days with an accompanied lyric video that I've made. Um, so yeah, it's quite like it's like a pop punk, punk rock with rap in it. There's a whole verse of like fast rap, which is quite cool. So you can check that song out. I also linked the song we released last month called Invisible Scab on the screen now. You can check it out. Really cool, it's like an acoustic kind of vibe. So hit that subscribe button below next to my name, Daniel Free. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll check you in the next one.